All right, we have a very special category for 2022. I don't know if this one will make it for next year, but I'm sure you can all decide that when you hear the name. For today, we're going to be taking a look at the best Bullet Heaven Vampire Survivor Likes Like a Survivor presented by Game Wisdom and Josh Bicer for Vampire Survivor Likes. And I just wonder... What game is going to take home first place this year? I, I don't know. Hmm. I'm sure all of you were eagerly anticipating this award, but while it wasn't that big of a star this year, it certainly has blown up. And like I said, I don't know if we're going to be doing this for next year. We'll have to wait and see. But for the It Could Be a Contender Award, I'm going to give it to the dozens, potentially, of Vampire Survivor Likes slash Bullet Heavens that we didn't play. There are, for everyone that I covered, and we certainly covered a lot, as I know all of you are aware of, there's probably dozens others that I didn't. So, there's your award nom right there. For the honorable mention of this category, I'm going to give it to, well, all the other Bullet Heaven slash Vampire Survivor Likes that we played this year that didn't make it to the top three. Again, we played a lot of them. And I'm not even going to try and pretend that I remember each and every single one that we played. But I know a few of you have been cataloging that on your own. So here's a fun fact about this category that I realized as I was in the middle of recording this section. That other than just literally one... Bullet Heaven slash Vampire Survivor like, there are the vast majority of them are still in early access to this day, which kind of breaks the rules of not having early access games taking home awards. But again, with this category kind of breaking its own rules and forcing itself onto this list, I guess it's perfectly valid. So, coming in at number three. For best bullet heaven slash vampire survivor like, I'm going to give it to 20 minutes till dawn. This was one of the earlier, or I guess I should say earlier, vampire survivor like slash bullet heavens to be released. I played the original demo of it on itch, and I certainly kept an interest in it. What I like about this one, how it stands out, is that it's far more, I guess, technical in its play compared to some of the other ones. I like how it is focused on aiming and dodging rather than just standing still and watching things go pew pew. Now what kind of keeps it from getting higher in this category is that I feel like at least in the version that I played which was about three four months ago there wasn't enough levers to pull in terms of varying strategies, things that, that can happen, things that can change things etc. And I was hoping we would see more in terms of build diversity, more items and perks you can find and things along those lines. But if you're looking for, I guess, a more, I guess, serious bullet heaven slash vampire survivor lake, then I would certainly recommend 20 minutes till dawn. All right, for number two on the list, I am going to give it to Brotado. Brotado kind of bucks the bullet heaven vampire survivor like trend in an unusual way by being more of a more rogue like than vampire survivor like every level or every run is built off of 20 waves and there's a lot of variance which i think is something that's missing from a lot of the other bullet heaven style games in terms of how you build your character your starting character has a huge impact on what builds and items you should focus on. And then those items that can show up randomly at the shop after each wave can lead to crazy strategies. Where you could get to the point where you just stand still and watch your six arms just beat up everything around you while you just instantly lifesteal and fully recover and do absolutely nothing. But there is a lot going on to this game. I like the music and the aesthetics of it. And the developer's previous game, Space Gladiators, I think that's what it was called, also had that kind of almost like buying of Isaac adjacent look to it. But this is a very solid game, and the concept certainly stands. And again, it stands out thanks to being more of a roguelike rather than just being here's 20 minutes and you know, whatever happens, you're kind of doing like the same thing from run to run. 
While it is not as technical focus as 20 Minutes of Dawn, even though you can turn on manual aiming, which completely broke me when I tried to do it here, it's still, I would say, a little bit more on the relaxing side, and certainly a great one to check out. Alright, so it's time for what could be the number one of the Game Wisdom Presents Josh Bicer Presents Bullet Heavens Vampire Survivor Likes Likes of Vampire Survivor Award of 2022. I don't know, let me get my invisible envelope over here, and let me uh, look at this for a second, hold on. Hold on, let me uh, open this envelope here. Hmm, yes, indeed. So, the number one game for this year, I'm sure all of you are on the edge of your seats, is going to be Vampire Survivors. Yes, I know, it's shocking, and none of you could have seen that one coming. But love it, hate it, can't stand it anymore. It, you cannot argue the impact Vampire Survivors has had on the indie space, roguelike design, and again, on this kind of short-form game that we've seen this trend growing over this year. With a lot of developers over the last two to three years have been focusing more on larger experiences and again trying to raise the average price of an indie game, again going from like five to ten dollars to maybe we're at like twenty to twenty-four ninety-nine, Vampire Survivors came out as this weird anomaly at I think it was like what, two ninety-nine, three ninety-nine, something like that. And what it did was well from minute one of playing it. You knew exactly what this game was going to be about, how it plays, and all the tricks and elements it uses to get you to keep playing. To build that sense of, I'm attacking one thing, now I'm attacking five things, now I cover the entire screen in death and destruction all around me. The different items, of course, offer different strategies, different builds. This, of course, got further expanded with the tarot card system, additional characters, maps, levels upon levels of progression and persistent elements, and the game even got its own DLC added, which adds even more to it. And again, this is a great example, I would say, of almost of an elevated idol game. And in a weird way, Vampire Survivors has kind of put the idol genre on task. Because there's been a lot of idol games that have been trying to do more in terms of giving you that dopamine of watching numbers go up and growing, but also trying to make it a little bit more involving, just literally turning it on, leaving your computer, and letting it do things on its own. And in that sense, Vampire Survivors is a brilliant game. And I do shudder to think, and I think everyone should press F in chat for future Josh, who will probably be playing a lot of these games in 2023. But as I said, this is a perfect example of a game design to study. In terms of how much progression, how much can escalate, or even just the feel of the moment to moment gameplay, can elevate very simple, very easy to learn mechanics. And even with all the bullet heavens and vampire survivor likes and so on that we played in 2022, none of them have really managed to beat that sense of like movement and the feel of vampire survivors. Where, yes, you're running around, you're not attacking, but you're watching your know, axes fling out and your holy Bible spinning around hitting things. It just felt really good to play. And sometimes just having that sense that it just is great to watch this game or play this game is oftentimes enough to get people interested. And again, despite this game coming from very simple beginnings, like, again, when this game came out, it was just, what the heck is this? No one really paid attention to it. And it kind of blew up to, like, Among Us levels of an indie game entering popular culture to now being this huge success. And I think I probably spent more time talking about this game in number one than some of the other uh, award categories of this year. 
So with that, I hope you enjoyed uh, Best Bullet Heaven, Vampire, Survivor, Lakes, and so on of 2022. Who knows? We may be having this for 2023. But again, if you have your favorite one that I didn't mention, and I know a few of you do, let me know in the comments down below. Do the liking, subscribing as well. Check out our Discord and Patreon and come back for the other discussions on game design here and on game wisdom where we play Vampire Survivor Likes, Bullet Heavens, and more.